The Chateau Louis XIV is a chateau constructed between 2008 and 2011 in the commune of Louveciennes in the Evelines department in the Ile de France region. The chateau was built by the property developer Ahmad Khashoggi's property development company COGEMAD using traditional craftsmanship techniques and materials. Located between Versailles and Marly le Roy on a 23 hectare, 57 acre, walled site, the property is surrounded by moats and has a constructed surface area of 7,000 square meters, 5,000 square meters of which are living space. The property pays various tributes to Louis XIV of France, France's son king and stands on land which once formed part of the Versailles estate. Khashoggi had previously restored the Palais Rose in Le Vezinet and the Chateau du Verderon in Marly le Roy. The Chateau Louis XIV was built on the site of the former Chateau du Camp in Louveciennes, with the aim of building a modern house, with high-tech controls incorporated within a 17th-century aspect, layout, and materials. The chateau incorporates elements inspired by the Chateau Vaux le Vicomte and the Palace of Versailles. In 2015, the chateau was purchased by Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman for US$301 million, a world record for a residential property. History In the late 17th century, the property where the current Chateau Louis XIV was built consisted of several plots of land, chestnut groves and woodland. In the early 18th century, the Royal Regiment was in charge of participating in a major excavation project in Marly le Roy. They thus decided to set up camp in an existing clearing on these very plots of land. During this period, Louis XIV decided to build a palace in Marly le Roy nestled in a lush green setting a place where he would regularly go to find the peace and quiet that he lacked in Versailles. Later, the Swiss guards, assigned to ensure the security of the Chateau de Marly, set up their camp on the property. Also known as the Royal Regiment Camp, or the Marly Camp, the camp disappeared in the mid-18th century, and the Chateau de Marly suffered in the French Revolution. In 1797, during a settlement, the camp and land that were part of the property were sold to Francoise Suzanne Guyhan Munthout who, in turn, sold them to the Vicomte Charles Gilbert Morel de Vinde and his wife in 1805. The Vicomte Charles Louis Touré de Morel Vinde, councillor at the royal court in Paris, inherited the property following the death of his grandfather in 1842, and sold it in 1848 to Jean-Pierre Blondy and Adelaide Halguin, who had the first house and outbuildings built on the property. The camp property became a large farm. Here, a cavalry regiment and several military companies would sometimes set up camp in what was then called the Camp Farm, until 1863, when Dr. de Borgia, mayor of Bougival, purchased and expanded the property. In 1888, Charles Emile Clerc, the new owner following the death of de Borgia, undertook the demolition of the initial buildings which, over the years, had only undergone a few scarcely noticeable changes. Having acquired several plots of land, Charles Emile Clerc was able to expand the property, which he transformed into a residential domain with a large house surrounded by extensive wooded grounds. The property remained in the family for over a century. During this time, it underwent a few modifications such as the addition of a stable, a caretaker's house and a number of paths, before eventually being sold to a French couple in 1991. This would then give way to a succession of owners, until the site's purchase and rebuilding by Khashoggi. C-O-G-E-M-A-D. The Saudi-born French property developer Ahmad Khashoggi demolished the building and constructed a new house, built with respect to 17th-century craft traditions. Khashoggi employed craftsmen with traditional skills. He explained that he wanted to give rise to a new structure, for which one is able to create sustainable projects that will make their mark in the future as well as in the heritage of a region, a country. For the construction of the Chateau Louis XIV, his company, Kogmod, employed an average of 120 workers every day. The property includes an underwater room built into the moats, the only one of its kind in Europe. The ceiling of the drawing room has a painting inspired by a fresco created by Charles Lebrun for the Chateau de Vaux le Vicomte, which took master painters several months to create. This, in addition to the fountain and the gardens, is one of the centerpieces of the chateau.